it sounds like from his press conference this weekend at Watkins Glen International that we're going to be seeing a shakeup come 2023. He had a very candid and open conversation with the media. And I got to tell you, I read through that transcript that Toyota sent out a few days ago, and it was just very telling of the fact that we're going to see Kyle Busch going a different direction in 2023. And I believe one of the exact quotes that he had said was that you have seen the last 15 years will not be the same next year. So definitely opens up a big can of what ifs. Where is he going? How's it going to happen? All of that, the five W's and one H. Kyle Busch in 2023, Tyler, definitely not going to be back at Joe Gibbs Racing from the sound of it. Yeah, unless there's something at the 11th hour, it seems highly unlikely. Doesn't necessarily mean he's leaving Toyota. Uh, whether he has his own charter or joins 2311, that's certainly possible. But, Dom, it seems like the odds-on favorite is Colleague Racing. With uh, that team, Justin Haley's in one car. They have another part-time car. And uh, Chevy has, we've heard reports, they're interested in working with Kyle's truck team uh, on, on that end as well. Uh, maybe an ownership stake. We know that Matt Collins got a lot of money that, you know, he does a lot of this stuff out of his own pocket anyway. That seems to be like that could be a natural fit. But from a competitive standpoint, Collins still has a ways to go to competing with some of the best of the best in a NASCAR's highest level now. I, I think you're right. I mean, they were just in their first year of running full-time cars and multiple full-time cars. So, yeah, you're right. I mean, they're building the right steps and they're right there, but – it is going to take a little bit of time, I think, especially from our perspective as outsiders looking in. I mean, you look at that situation, Norm, from what you've seen, from what you've heard, where do you think Kyle Busch ends up in 2023? I really <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, uh, you know, he could end up at Hendrick, maybe. He could end up at uh, Tony Stewart's, you know, Haas, or, you know, I don't know. Well, him and I don't talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I think about it too, Charlie. Like you got the truck organization wrapped up in that. I mean, what's the possibility we'd see Coggle run a full time year in trucks and just kind of take a break from the cup scene for a little bit? Zero. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, he'll, be, he'll be in cups. No, stranger things have not happened than Kyle stepping away from cup to run truck for a year. No, stranger things have not happened. Stranger things. Right. I don't know. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I was asking. No, 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 possibility. No. A guy that he has more championships than anyone else in the series. Uh, more wins. You know. I, well, I guess he's tied with Kevin Harvick now. Uh, but <laughs> right, I, I, he might not be in the prime of his career anymore. But I, I don't see him leaving the Cup Series now. Um, it, you've been talking, Norm, about the, the financial situation involved in all this and just where the sport's at on that realm. I mean, here's Kyle Busch, who had, you know, $25 million salary with the M&M sponsorship and with the way the economy is going with the recession and, and everything. That I mean, it, it seems like from what, all, what we've been told, Gibbs can't find even close to that money to match the the, the, uh, the salary that, that Kyle Busch uh, commands here. Yeah, I agree. The economy is, uh, I don't know what's sustaining it right now, actually. I, I really believe that next couple of years, all these all these drivers, owners, everybody, they're going to have to uh, accept a little bit less if they want to keep this sport alive. Uh, they're going to have to make it cheaper somehow. Plus, they're talking about these electric cars. You know, IndyCar already has an electric race car. So who knows where that's going to go. But uh, I think we've been to the mountaintop, and uh, it's going to go the other way now. Well, and uh, Dom, also, uh, the, the other half of this Kyle Busch uh, news is the Ty Gibbs factor. Ty Gibbs likely to take over the 18 car. And the way that he's run filling in for Kurt Busch, Kyle's brother, on top of how great he's been in the Xfinity series, is there anything really for him to gain of another year in Xfinity? I mean, he looks like he's ready for full-time cup right now. Yeah, it kind of reminds me like when they were deciding to keep Christopher Bell in the Xfinity series for one more year. And, and I think Christopher might have said something along the lines of, I don't want to be wasting the racing years of my prime in the Xfinity series. I want to move up to race on Sundays. And, and, and Ty Gibbs at 19 years old, I mean, I think he is ready. We've seen guys 
running the Cup Series full time at, at 19, 20 years old. Right? I mean, I think of Joey Logano as one of the guys that ran a rookie season at 18, 19 years old. Ty Gibbs does look ready. Tyler, he's finished top 10 in the Cup Series. He's running up front. He's learning these cars. He's spent time on simulators, but he's actually had the experience behind the wheel in really good equipment and a good, solid team around him. He's ready. Yeah, I think so.